Ishaism, at a time where Haitian literature is almost dead, contemporary writers think it is their duty to fight for renovation of Haitian letters. In search of a national identity, these poets gathered around a literary organization called Isha Haiti, or Innovation of the Territory, by active Ishaists of Haiti. The first Haitian literary doctrine of the 21st century born of a group of committed young writers who, willing to sacrifice themselves and raise their hands to say no to any injustice that occurs during their existence. Hence, the doctrine of Ishaism literary movement appeared on July 12, 2008, with young poets forming a literary club to do poetry and play theater in the city of Las Cays, South Haiti. The idea expands on social media to give birth to a literary school exalting the Haitian soil. The main purpose of Isha Haiti is to explode the clarity of a literary that draws, translates, and reflects all realities of Haiti. It promotes a licit, teachable, and original literature while advocating an innovative poetry. Ishaism believes in beautiful letters and supports associations working to the development of Haitian culture. His theorists aim to make the territory their inspirational source. Ishaists use their pen to paint their country's beauty and also focus on various facts that occur in their society. According to them, history cannot be embellished without nuances social and societal coherences. Ishaism gleans ideas in the moral atmosphere in order to synchronize individuals with their homeland. His philosophy of self-reliance by oneself and for oneself dedicates on the human being as God of his heaven and the honey of his bee to empower the true meaning of existence. His doctrine of making men and women the materials of their masterpiece binds all literary and philosophical doctrines of the centuries which are questioned the ecstasy of surreal. The history of Ishaism is completely inseparable of Haiti where it comes from. It synchronizes with the first independent Negro Republic in the world. The condition of an actual pirated sovereignty and the future of a power country. His perception is purely pragmatic if any success depends only on oneself. Ishaism would surely be acceptable if it had as an immediate consequence the action of eliminating from history the intruders of the philosophies of all doctrines, their manners and customs, which make on one hand the basis of the Haitian belief and on the other hand the power to globalize Haitian Creole as a revolutionary language. Ishaists cannot be influenced by any other culture. They fight to promote their works everywhere in the world. Their externalizations are exerted on each faculty like spirit on flesh and are oriented toward the right way so that they do not go astray. Writers of this doctrine do not rival. These patriots are synthetic, focus, and aesthetic. They speak less and they say more. This doctrine tends to defend a typical Haitian literature focused on universality. The ideal of Ishaism can be summed up in the promotion of the Haitian people while making positive progress and radical change. It is a form of militancy that is considered a weapon against the devastating powers that plunge the country into an intellectual chaos, where Haiti's sons and daughters are forced to go into exile in search of primary needs. This drives the youth, the powerful force, the energy, and the seed of its ancestral land to lose interest in its own culture. Ishaists are fighters to the extreme for freedom and the scrupulous respect of the human being. For the Ishaists, defending their cultural identity is one of the winning strategies of educating and initiating the elite to save their homeland. Describing the misery of a zombie people of their period through their works and exalting the beauty of what remains good 
is a psychological asset to motivate this great nation and to take up this torch. Thus, these enthusiasts are alarmed to awaken poetry, restore the landscapes, sing their country, and make their pens a therapy for the traumatized and an assault against the corrupt leaders. Ishaism is neither a poem nor a play nor a novel either. Being creative, the Ishaists adopt their own style and are free in their works. The Ishaists do not destroy, they build. They do not just blame, but advise. They do not distort, but transform. They do not protest, but propose new ideas. Ishaists undresses while caressing, harmonizing and perfecting in everything. Ishaism makes a hyphen between a neglected past, an alarmed present, and a mourning future to build the Haitian society. Poet Wilson Thilimo Lewis, leader. Idiahism, Idia Haiti. At a time where the Haitian literature is almost dead, contemporary writers think it's their duty to fight for renovation of Haitian letters. In search of a national identity, these poets gathered around a literary organization called Idia Haiti, or Innovation of the Territory by Active Idiahists of Haiti. The first Haitian literary doctrine of the 21st century, born of a group of committed young writers who willingly sacrificed themselves and raised their hands to say no to any injustice that occurred during their existence. Hence the doctrine of Idiahism, a literary movement that appeared on July 12, 2008, with young poets forming a literary club to do poetry and play theater in the city of La Caye, South Haiti. The idea expands on social media to give birth to a literary school exalting the Haitian soil. The main purpose of Idia Haiti is to explode the clarity of a literary that draws, translates, and reflects all realities of Haiti. It promotes illicit, teachable, and original literature while advocating an innovative poetry. Idiahism believes in beautiful letters and supports associations working to the development of Haitian culture. His theorists aim to make the territory their inspirational source. Idiahists use their pen to paint their country's beauty and also focus on various facts that occur in their society. According to them, history cannot be embellished without nuances, social and societal coherences. Idiahism gleans ideas in the moral atmosphere in order to synchronize individuals with his homeland. His philosophy of self-reliance by oneself and for oneself dedicates on human being as God of his heaven and the honey of his bee to empower the true meaning of existence. His doctrine of making men and women the materials of their masterpiece binds all literary and philosophical doctrines of the centuries which question the ecstasy of surreal. The history of idiahism is completely inseparable of Haiti, where it comes from. It synchronizes with the first independent Negro Republic in the world, the condition of an actual pirated sovereignty and the future of a power country. His perception is purely pragmatic if any success depends only on oneself. Idiahism would surely be acceptable if it had as an immediate consequence the action of eliminating from history the intruders of the philosophies of all doctrines, their manners and customs, which, on one hand, the basis of the Haitian belief, and on the other hand, the power to globalize Haitian Creole as revolutionary language. Idiahists cannot be influenced by any other culture. They fight to promote their works everywhere in the world. Their externalizations are exerted on each faculty like spirit on flesh and are oriented towards the right way so that they do not astray. Writers of this doctrine do not rival. These patriots are synthetic, focus, and aesthetic. They speak less and say more. This doctrine tends to defend a typical Haitian literature focused on universality. The ideal of idiahism can be summed up in the promotion of the Haitian people while making positive progress and radical change. It is a form of militancy 
that is considered a weapon against the devastating powers that plunge the country into an intellectual chaos, where Haiti's sons and daughters are forced to go into exile in search of primary needs. This drives the youth, the powerful force, the energy and the seed of this ancestral land to lose interest in its own culture. Idiotists are fighters to the extreme for freedom and the scrupulous respect of the human being. For the idiotists, defending their cultural identity is one of the winning strategies of educating and initiating the elite to save their homeland. Describing the misery of a zombie people of their period through their works and exalting the beauty of what remains good is a psychological asset to motivate this great nation and to take up his torch. Thus, these enthusiasts are alarmed to awaken poetry, restore the landscapes, sing their country, and make their pens a therapy for the traumatized and an assault against the corrupt leaders. Idiotism is neither a poem, nor a play, nor a novel either. Being creative, the idiotists adopt their own style and are free in their works. The idiotists do not destroy, they build. They do not just blame, but advise. They do not distort, but transform. They do not only protest, but propose new ideas. Idiotists undresses while caressing, harmonizing and perfecting in everything. Idiotism makes a hyphen between a neglected past, an alarmed present, and a new day to build the future Haitian society. Poet Wilson Talimo Lewis, Leader. Idiaïsme Dans une période où la littérature haïtienne est presque passée au grand trépas, des jeunes écrivains se voient bon de lutter pour la rénovation des belles lettres haïtiennes. À la recherche d'une identité nationale, les ithiaïstes se sont réunis autour d'une organisation littéraire dénommée Itiaïti ou Innovation du territoire par les ithiaïstes actifs d'Haïti. On croit que c'est le premier courant littéraire haïtien du 21e siècle naissant d'un groupe de jeunes écrivains engagés, acceptant de se sacrifier et lever leurs mains pour dire non à toute dérive qui se produise au cours de leur existence. D'où la doctrine d'ithéisme, organisation littéraire apparue le 12 juillet 2008 avec des jeunes poètes formant un club littéraire pour faire chanter la poésie et le théâtre dans la ville des Cailles. L'idée s'élargit sur les réseaux sociaux pour donner naissance à une école littéraire exaltant le terroir haïtien. La raison d'être dit est d'éclater la clarté d'un courant littéraire qui puise, qui traduit et qui reflète toutes les réalités d'Haïti en raison des constatations critiques à l'originalité de l'art. Elle promeut une littérature saine, nette et propre, tout en prenant une poésie novatrice mettant en scène les idéologies contemporaines au même titre que l'évolution de la matière. L'ithiaïsme se repose sur la croyance des belles lettres et l'encadrement de certaines formes d'association œuvrant à l'essor de la culture haïtienne. Ces théoriciens visent à faire du territoire une source d'inspiration saine. Les ithiaïstes libèrent leurs plumes pour peindre la réalité de leur pays en mettant l'accent sur les fêtes divers qui se produisent dans la société. Selon eux, l'histoire ne peut être embellie sans les nuances ni les cohérences sociales et sociétales. L'ithiaïsme parcourt des idées dans l'atmosphère morale en vue de synchroniser l'être et la patrie. Sa philosophie d'encadrement de soi, par soi et pour soi se repose sur l'être humain comme étant le dieu de son ciel et miel de son abeille pour s'autonomiser du vrai sens de son existence. 
sa doctrine de faire de l'homme et la femme les matériaux de leur chef-d'œuvre lit tous les courants littéraires et philosophiques des siècles qui se questionnent sur l'extase du surréel. L'histoire de l'ithiaïsme est complètement inséparable de celle d'Haïti où elle s'est issue. Elle se synchronise avec la première république nègre indépendante, l'état d'une actuelle souveraineté piratée et l'avenir d'une puissance mondiale. Sa perception est purement pragmatique dans la mesure où toute réussite ne dépend que de soi. L'idéalisme serait sûrement acceptable si elle avait comme conséquence immédiate l'action d'éliminer de l'histoire les intrus des philosophies de toute doctrine maîtresse, de leurs mœurs et de leurs coutumes qui font d'une part la base de la croyance haïtienne et d'autre part le pouvoir de mondialiser le créole haïtien en tant que langue révolutionnaire. Les ithéaïstes ne se laissent influencer d'aucune autre culture. Les ithéaïstes pleurent pour promouvoir les belles œuvres haïtiennes à l'échelle nationale et internationale. Leurs extériorisations s'exercent sur chaque faculté comme l'esprit sur la chair et s'oriente vers la voie droite pour qu'elle ne s'égare pas. Les écrivains du dit courant ne font pas de rivalité philosophique entre eux. Ces patriotes sont synthétiques, focus et esthétiques. Ce sont des penseurs qui parlent moins et dirent plus. Cette doctrine tend à défendre une littérature typiquement haïtienne axée sur l'universalité. L'idéal d'ithiaïsme se résume dans le combat pour la promotion, la libération des nègres et l'indépendance des peuples tout en faisant des belles œuvres le parchemin du progrès et du changement radical. C'est une forme de militantisme considérant comme étant une arme face aux puissances dévastatrices qui plonge le pays dans un chaos intellectuel où les fils d'Haïti se voient dans l'obligation de s'exoder à la recherche des besoins primaires. Ce qui pousse la jeunesse, force vivante, l'énergie et la semence de cette terre ancestrale à se désintéresser de sa propre culture. Les ithiaïstes sont des combattants à l'outrance pour la liberté et le respect scrupuleux de la personne humaine. Pour eux, défendre leur identité culturelle en littérant est l'une des stratégies gagnantes d'éduquer et d'initier une élite pour sauver leur patrie. Décrire la misère d'un peuple zombie de leur époque à travers ses œuvres et exalter la beauté de ce qui leur reste de bon est un atout psychologique pour motiver la plus grande nation mondiale de 1804 à reprendre son flambeau. Ainsi, ces enthousiastes s'alarment pour réveiller la poésie, redorer les paysages, chanter leurs pays, faire de leurs plumes une thérapie pour les traumatiser et un assaut contre les patries poches. L'ithiaïsme n'est ni un poème, ni une pièce de théâtre, ni un roman non plus. Étant créatif et créative, l'ithiaïste adopte son propre style et est libre dans son œuvre. L'ithiaïste n'écrase pas, mais construit. L'ithiaïste ne fait pas que reprocher, mais conseille. L'ithiaïste ne déforme pas, mais transforme. L'ithiaïste ne fait pas que manifester contre, mais propose et s'impose. L'ithiaïste déshabille en caressant, harmonise et se perfectionne en tout. Somme toute, 
l'ithyaïsme fait un trait d'union entre un passé délaissé, un présent alarmé et un futur endeuillé pour construire la société haïtienne. Poète Wilson Telimo Louis, chef de file.